Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY sticker book with your Happy Planner products. So I have 10 sticker sheets right here that came with my planner in the pack that I got for Christmas and then I also have some cardstock. So these sticker sheets are 12 centimeters by 23 centimeters so you're going to want to cut your cardstock out by to be 14 centimeters by 23 centimeters so I've already drawn lines on my paper as you can tell the bottom line right here says 14 centimeters and then this line is 23 centimeters so first I'm going to cut this out now that I have all of my cardstock out, I'm going to start by covering the edge with some washi tape. I'm going to be using this rose gold copper tone washi to cover this edge because my paper is a light tan color. So I figured it might look better if I just covered this side with some washi. So I'm going to line up my washi on the edge and I'm going to go down all the way to the bottom to make sure my edge is covered. smooth it out and I'm going to grab my scissors and trim and then on the opposite side so I'm flipping from here to here on this side I'm going to do the same thing on the edge And I'm going to do this to all of my pages. I've got five of them, so I'm going to finish covering those and then I will get back with you. So now that I have all of my pages covered, I'm going to take my Happy Planner Punch and stick these in. I'm going to put these in one at a time and line them up with the edge. Actually, I'm going to center it to where it's even. On each side. And then I'm going to punch my pages. And there you can see that I have my punches in and it looks really good on this foil washi. So I'm going to do that to every single page, just lining it up, making sure it's even, and then pressing down. And like I said, I would recommend doing one page at a time because if you do a multiple, it might jam your punch. Especially with this cardstock because it is thicker than regular paper. So now that I have everything punched, I'm going to grab my sticker sheets. I'm going to do it one at a time. So I only need one of these cardstock pieces. And I'm going to take this tape runner and I'm going to tape along the edges well maybe not on the sticker page I'm going to tape along this edge right here Then I'm 
going to tape across the top and the bottom. I'm going to tape across here. I'm also going to put a piece in the middle just to make sure it sticks. Then I'm going to line this page up with the edge of my washi along with the top and bottom edges of the cardstock. I'm going to press down. As you can tell, I have a little bit of excess cardstock on the side, but I'm going to cut this off. That way it's completely even and it doesn't show this edge right here. I did it like this to make it easier to cut out, but I didn't want to add an extra strip of washi just because it's only going to show this much. So then you're going to flip it over and you'll tape along the edge of the washi again, oops, not on the edge of the washi, but you'll tape along the edge of the washi and then the top and the bottom. and then you'll go down the side. And then one in the middle to make sure it's extra sticky. So you'll want to make sure this time that your washi edge is on the right side so you can line your page up. And then smooth it out. And there, that way whenever you're turning through your planner or your book, you can flip it over and it's front and back. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut this edge off. That way you can see how it looks without it. And there is the sticker sheet is punched and I think it looks really good with this washi. Um, so now I'm going to finish up with the rest of my sheets and then I'll get back to you with the finished product. So now that I have all of my pages done, I'm going to put them in my planner. That way I can have them with me wherever I go. So we're going to put them in the back, pop them in, Now I'm able to flip through all of my stickers and have them with me all the time. And I think this turned out really good. I'm really proud of it. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I haven't had the time to. So now that I've done it, I really like it. And it kind of makes me want to do it to the rest of my other stickers, but I don't think I'm going to do that because I've gotten to keep them all in there. Um, books that they came in but I really think this is a great idea if you have 
just loose sticker sheets that didn't come in a book or didn't come with it already punched like this pack for example that already has punches on it so I think this is a great idea especially if you want to take your stickers with you while you're on the go so you know I just think it's a really great idea also I think the happy planner actually has a book that's for punching your stickers and putting it in there um, now this idea did not come from me this is actually from Heather Kell she has made her own book actually she made the first book with the happy planner stickers and um, happy planner dashboards so I think she did really good thinking of that idea and now because of her idea Mamby has a book that's just for stuff like this so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my future videos